Now, the Republicans, uh, led by Donald Trump during the election, were so concerned about uh, coal country. Uh, we need to stop uh, Obama's war on coal country, war on coal miners. we got to bring the coal jobs back. Uh, and we got to take care of the coal miners. Okay, well, look, yeah, that played very, very well in coal country, as it would. These are people's livelihoods. These are people's jobs. Okay, that makes sense. Now, how are the Republicans doing on at least one of those issues? Let's, say, let's talk about health care, for example. It turns out they're not doing all that well. Coal miners, according to McClatchy, D.C., will be now losing their pensions and health care benefits unless Congress acts to fund those plans. Now, Congress, um, for their part, they saw this coming about 10 miles away. They knew. They knew the fund was running out of money, but they didn't do anything about it. In fact, uh, they know, uh, McClatchy notes, back in September, the Senate Finance Committee had actually approved the Miners Protection Act by a vote of 18 to 8. So they already had legislation out there on the table by September because they knew they were going to run up against a December uh, deadline. However, neither the Republican-controlled Senate nor the House of Representatives have decided to take up this bill. Now, I wonder who is in charge of the uh, of Congress? Who's in charge of Senate? Who's in charge of the House? Anybody? Bielder? Bielder? Do you guys know? <laughs> of course, it's the Republicans. The Republicans have been in charge. Now, uh, McClatchy reports that since the uh, uh, clock is ticking, 22 senators from both parties have recently wrote the Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell and House Speaker Paul Ryan uh, on Tuesday, I believe that's Tuesday of last week, to urge the passage of this bill. Now, um, it, like I said, tick tock, tick tock, man. Now, it's already noted that retired miners have received notices that their health care benefits would end. They write, during the month of October, approximately 12,500 of our nation's retired coal miners received notices informing them that their health care benefits will be terminated by the end of the year. On November 1st, another 3,600 miners will begin receiving notices, and next year, 6,500 more will suffer the same fate. Now, the United Mine Workers of America Healthcare and Pension Fund faces insolvency because of a string of coal industry bankruptcies. It's not a surprise, the coal industry is dying, and it's been dying for a while, thanks to cheap oil and cheap natural gas. There has been a glut of both that have essentially killed the coal industry. Of course, Republicans will want to tell you, no, 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 it's due to the crushing regulations. No, coal can't compete. It just can't. Not in the age of cheap oil and cheap natural gas. Now, that's why, as I said, the coal industry is failing. Now, only 10,000 active workers remain to support more than 100,000 retirees. And many of those retired miners uh, and family members depend on those benefits. So you don't have enough people working in the coal industry anymore to support all the retirees. That's why they're running out of money. That's why they're running out of money. Now, here's the thing. Uh, I don't care about the coal industry itself. But the workers, I do care about the workers. We should all care about the workers. They bust their asses day in, day out. Often getting horrible injuries. I mean, coal mining is incredibly dangerous. And they also get horrible diseases like black lung. So, look, they need those health benefits. They need those retirement benefits. They've worked for that. They deserve that. It is the least that we can do. Whether or not you're pro-coal, whether or not you're anti-coal, you should agree that, hey, these people put in their time. They deserve to be taken care of. They deserve to have a dignified retirement. They deserve to have their health insurance taken care of. As simple as that. Now, I thought Mitch McConnell, of all people living in coal country, cared about that. No, 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 no. They don't care about the workers. They care about the coal companies and the coal executives. That's who Mitch McConnell cares about. So how, how long do these coal workers have? Well, without congressional intervention, more than 16,000 retired miners are set to lose their health care benefits on December 31st. Now, the Miners Protection Act, as I mentioned before, well, that bill, it's got bipartisan support from a number of senators 
unsurprisingly in coal producing states. You had Democrat uh, Joe Manchin. Now I give Joe Manchin a whole lot of shit. Why is he even a Democrat? He should be a Republican. He always votes for the Republicans, but on this, he's actually he's actually right. It seems like he actually cares about giving these people health care and a dignified retirement. Now, you also have Republican Shelley Moore Caput, uh, Capito of West Virginia, Democrat Dick Durbin, and Republican Mark Kirk of Illinois. You also have Ohio Republican Rob Portman and Pennsylvania Democrat Bob Casey. Now, look, I realize I'm not stupid here, okay? I realize that all of this could just be political. Coal, coal is, is, is it's, it's pretty popular in those states. And so you're going to get voted in if you're a very pro-coal. I understand that, right? And these people are constituents. And so if you help them out, of course, they're going to vote for you. That's where Joe Manchin is. Okay, I get it. I get it. I don't really, I look, I don't know what their motivations are. At this point, I don't really fucking care. Okay. These people, they're not the greedy CEOs. These people are the, the, the workers that the salt of the earth. And I don't care if they're Republicans. I don't care if they voted for Trump based on his lies to bring back coal country. No, no. These people work their asses off. They earn their retirement and they earn their health care. Simple as that. Simple as that. And I know there's probably some liberals that are watching that are, you know, pissed off, right? But you, you got to remember, it's not their fault that coal jobs were pretty much the only opportunities there, you know, in those places for you to get a job and feed your family. It's not their fault that they have no opportunity other than the coal company. And I think, I think that's a lot of, that's something that a lot of people miss, especially liberals, man. Living in California, New York, I understand you guys are in your bubbles. I get it. But look, they just, they just want to protect their jobs. They want to protect their jobs. They want to protect their families. They want to make sure that their work is rewarded, that they can take care of themselves and their families. Okay. And again, I think the coal industry, it's got to go, okay? Coal is, is, is a leading uh, problem with, uh, you know, feeding into climate change. But still, not without making sure that these people are not left behind. You can't just get rid of an industry and not have a replacement for these people. We don't do that as a country. We're not supposed to leave people behind. At least that's the way that it should be. We do not leave, leave people behind. However, so far, this bill does not have the backing of Mitch McConnell or Rand Paul. Now that could should kind of show you how phony they are. They're all about deregulating the industry and giving tax breaks to giant corporations, but not allowing these people who work hard, who do everything that they're supposed to do, to have a retirement or health benefits. And if they don't step in and fund these programs and bring these into the Senate and into the House and vote it and, and, and get it through, they're going to destroy the lives of thousands of workers who depend on these very programs. That ain't right. So my question is, if you really care about coal country, Donald Trump, then come out and speak about this. Talk about this. Where are you? Where are you, Donald? Where are you, Mitch McConnell? Where are you, Paul Ryan? Show the people in cold country that you're not a phony, that you're not part of the establishment, that you actually give a shit. You either show them or prove, them to you, uh, or prove that to them, or you can be a phony and show us what you really are. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent non-corporate media, go to our Patreon page and become a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation.